Hey guys, in this video, we are talking about the LinkedIn lead generation uh, that I built for myself and I use it regularly for doing cold email campaign. What's the whole process look like and how it would be uh, efficient? So let us talk about that. So we have basically here, if you can come into the screen. So I will be showing you later on. So if we are this, we are only getting the clean jobs that has been recently posted on LinkedIn and we and then the cool thing about this automation is that you you are finding the decision makers so that you are not just sending the email to the wrong person in the team. If so, in that case, because they are selling the sales system to sales system, so it means the the pain point that only triggers to the person is the sales guys, right? So we are targeting the sales VP of sales, at sales director, CRO, all these roles. So founders are very busy. So they, we don't want the. We have a thumb rule that we don't want to send their C suit uh, as they're busy, and we also don't want to send the person who has not a whole control over the system. So that is. If that sounds cool, then let's see the workflow, and we'll discuss uh, later on. Okay. So you are on this screen, and you can see the LinkedIn job scraping. And the thing is that. Uh, so first of all, how many tools and what type of uh, resources do we need? So we need Appify. So you will get the, uh, these scraper from the Appify and we're using the job scraper of the LinkedIn. Okay, so you will find the Appify job scraper. So if you go, go to that LinkedIn jobs scraper. Uh, you can find anything uh, from there. So. That also requires the session cookies. So how do you find that? You can install by going right there and then install cookie editor. Afterwards, you will be just uh, going to any page like LinkedIn and will say that this site and give the permission allow and then it will create a session cookie. Okay. So if you go to the again and it will just it just export this in form of JSON and copy it here or in your workflow. So this is how. So what this does is that uh, you go to the LinkedIn and basically scraps. So, so let us go to the LinkedIn and you go to the jobs. So where you can find the jobs and STR United States. And afterwards, you just uh, copy this URL and paste in your Google Sheet. Okay, so just paste it here and the status is pending. So status, so it will scrape the job. Okay, and then it will scrap the data, uh, put the scrap data in this sheet. So let us see in the execution. So how it is that one? Okay. So I can show you uh, this maybe it is execution. Okay. Nevertheless, we can see the execution. Or we can understand it. So the data that it will give you the company ID, name, job title, location, job titles, and okay, and then the job post description, company LinkedIn website. So what you will get from this data. Uh, you, you are getting this and then you will be uh, basically verifying the job okay uh, verifying the company so that you will be sending only to the persons uh, only to the company that matters and the second thing is you want to filter out the employee uh, employee count so let us say so we have set it to 150 to 500 and the, I have tested this and I say that uh, the important one is to just send from 11 to 100 or 200 that will be most mostly beneficial okay afterward uh, so once we are getting the data from the lead enrichment let me show you the lead enrichment so this is the sheet 4 and the sheet 1 is basically sheet 2 actually so sheet 2 is so sheet 2 contains all of the scrapping and sheet 4 only contains the uh, current one right so uh, this is how we filter the data okay and let us see how many things so business company business development representative and Chicago job title, number of jobs, job posted, description, company LinkedIn. So you can actually see it is right. Okay. And then LinkedIn lead generation, you are uh, uh, extracting the rows from the same uh, sheet that I've shown uh, from sheet four. Okay. After scraping the sheets, now you can see it, uh, we have to uh, basically sort it down to uh, the number of jobs. So the companies who has the most listed jobs, we want them at the top. Okay. And afterwards, in edit field, you just uh, put the name of the company and the company LinkedIn number. Okay, so company ID so that you can uh, find the information about the company, right? Why it is important? Again, 
uh, to extract the number of employees and also to know uh, which companies are uh, valid. So we merge the data by so merge this uh, all of the data. So you can see that uh, one is to get the because uh, we had to link the previous data with the exit coming data. Okay, so that's why we have merged it here and then loop it down. And this text classifier, I don't think so we have needed. So in the recent workflow, I've set it. So we don't need that, just uh, put that into the Google Sheet. Okay. So afterwards, you will have the sheet tree with company name, location, and, and, okay. So you are seeing now this add website and clean data to sheet four. So add website is to be put the website in the sheet that we want. So, so company website is we are adding here. Okay. And yeah, so lead enrichment will get the company website. Okay. Then clean data to sheet 4. Uh, that way I have told you earlier, sheet 4 contains the current data and sheet 2 contains all of the job posts. Okay. Afterwards, uh, we have to go to the another workflow. Now let us see that second part of this video, which is finding the decision makers. So how do we find that? Once we get the company domain, okay. Then we just uh, put that into the Apollo you are Apollo API. So where do you find that Apollo API for people search and also for mix search? Okay, so this people search will get the uh, information about the people uh, related to that company. So what we are putting here is that the titles of the decision maker and seniority and website. Okay, so it will extract then personal information. Right. So afterwards, we need to find their emails. So for that, you will go to the people enrichment API, and and then just copy the curl request from here and paste it there. Here you for paste that, and you will get the emails of the decision maker. Okay. Now you have to merge both of the requests. Uh. So why do you are why do we find the both of the requests. So, because in each company we find two persons uh, who hold a similar level of position. So, if one is not uh, just seeing your request, and so you will send the other. Okay. And this append sheet is just we are appending the data into the decision maker sheet. So, let me show you that. So, decision makers contain company name, the previous information about the company. And their first name, last name, title, email, phone number, LinkedIn, and personalization to it. Then we are filtering only the emails that are not empty. So then pass it to the scraping website. So we are scraping the website. Okay. So that we can write the personalization line. And personalization is this. Just very simple. Uh, impressed by AI powered onboarding platform with real time fraud detection. Few size providers offer this level of automation. So this personalization line has been created by this, uh, by this, uh, by this uh, OpenAI, and you will be copying this whole uh, prompt, and you will get the. So let me show you the execution also. This sheet contains the data from the company uh, company information, and put into the HTTP request of Apollo to find the uh, company information, right, regarding the decision maker, and then the same enrichment. So this is the company scraper. So this is very important note, guys. So we had to know about that uh, because this company scraping, you know that it will give you the whole HTML page. So we want to clean the data, right? And you can see that. So you can see all uh, ir regular data. You can say that. Then we put into the code node and yeah, see the data is clean now. So what this code does is that it basically removes all of the HTML tags and only getting the data that uh, that contains content right so it also contains the image url so we don't want that afterwards just feed into the open ai and write the json version of the personalization okay and then put into the sheet so the end result will be look like now you can send them the email just put into the instantly or any campaign tool that you will be using so just use that and it will have the more reply rate. So I will be guaranteeing that the reply rate will be for more than 43% if you're targeting the correct leads and which is in that case, 
we are doing so right and the so uh, i guess uh, uh pardon for that uh actually the reply rate isn't more than 43 percent reply rate is very around seven percent for seeing the rate of messaging that will be around uh, more than 43 percent okay so guys if you like if you like the video please do uh, thumbs up and also comment down any questions you had and i will be con answering all of the questions and also if you want to build the same thing for your business uh, please uh, you can find me uh, my email at the description and also website information so you can send me a dm and we'll let you know afterwards and that's it for today's video we'll meet in the next video stay tuned